This screencast is going to explain how to embed documents uh, into uh, uh, the lesson planning uh, pro forma for your QTSE portfolio. So first of all you need to be in the 7100 module and if you want to find the, uh, the document for embedding lesson plans uh, and units of work you can find that in the ass uh, assignments and submission section into guidance and it's for components uh, 2 and 3 which are the QTS portfolio. Uh, so you can find these embedding documents uh, here and uh, click, click to download, we'll open that, it'll open in Word and first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to enable editing and then save that somewhere uh, so you can use this uh, doc document. So at the top it's fairly clear and straightforward, name, date, specialist areas to your subject uh, or maybe the, uh, the subject within your teaching specialism uh, and so on. So you're going to write a brief reflection. Uh, this can also be copied into uh, the uh, the portfolio itself for the the reflection part. Uh, so uh, and this this is just in case you need a bit of extra uh, space to to write. And it's sort of between 200 and 250 words, uh, reflecting on the evidence and explaining how that evidence shows that you meet uh, the uh, the standard or standards that you're claiming. So the, the actual process for embedding is quite straightforward. Uh, we've got sections here for the documents you need to embed. And you can embed a number of documents. If you've got more than one learning, learning resource, then you can add those in. And you can just uh, uh, change the size of that box uh, if you need to. And the comments section is really if you just need to put comments in. Uh, the lesson analysis form, which should be included with, with any lesson uh, plan packs, uh, is the, the, the form that your mentor in school fills in uh, when they observe your lessons. So to go through the embedding process, uh, click uh, in the box where you want to insert the lesson plan. So you can see the cursor is blinking there. Then we go to insert on the ribbon at the top, and it's over on the right hand side to object. So we're going to insert object and we're going to create from file. We're not creating a new document, we're, create, we're going to be embedding an existing document. And we can go to browse just like you would uh, with uh, uh, any other uploading uh, process. And I've got my document, uh, my lesson plan on the, uh, uh, the desktop. So find my document, click insert. So we've got the, the document path where it exists uh, already. Uh, and uh, and we, we're going to click OK in just a moment. But before we do that, we need to click uh, the appropriate radio buttons here. So uh, we're going to click Display as Icon, and that's how it's going to be displayed when we embed it in the document. What you mustn't click is the link to file, because that will not embed your document. It will create a link to where it exists on your hard drive. So uh, do click Display as Icon only. OK, click OK. And there we go, simple as that. Uh, so if I double click on this, it'll open up the document. And um, that is now embedded as part of this overall larger document. So I want to save that. Uh, file and save as. I'll just save it on my uh, desktop. And you want to give it its, its name. And I would save it uh, with a particular standard. So say uh, S3. A, if that's uh, if that's appropriate, and save that document, and then you're ready. Uh, once you've uploaded each of the relevant documents, lesson evaluation, learning resources, uh, lesson analysis form, and any, any other relevant data like assessment or examples of people's work, uh, you could embed photographs as well. I uh, uh, can can then go into this as being a piece of evidence, and that can be uh, one of your three uh, lesson plans, which are part of your essential. I, I have contents for most of the standards in the QTS portfolio.